Hello guys, this is the Grayson Show showing you part one of my complete video game collection starting with the PSP and GameCube library. I only have six games, I think. We'll start with Siphon Filter Dark Mirror, one of my favorite PSP games, first PSP game I got. Very fun, very, very easy. I beat it in like a week, the first week I got my uh, PSP. But it was still a lot of fun. I think there's an online, but I haven't tried it yet. Then we got SOCOM US Navy SEALs Bra Te Fire Team Bravo. Um, and for Mature, very fun game. Very. Well, I couldn't get past the third level. It's still very fun. I got it with a pack of Siphon Filter Dark Mirror. I played a lot too. Uh, Star Lego Star Wars 3. This is this game is not actually mine, it's my little brother's. But I've played it a couple of times and he's played it a couple of times and we've both set we both think it's a very, very fun game. Addictive too. After a while it gets kinda of repetitive, so if you want to pick it up and you can find it cheap, go for it. Uh, and then we got Paper Mario the Ten the Thousand Year Old Door, Player's Choice Edition. Very fun. As you can see it's a bestseller. Came with my our second GameCube that my dad bought. Very, very fun. I haven't beat it yet. I think when like we got our Xbox, I just stopped playing GameCube. So, we'll talk about that later. Then we got Army Men, Sarge's War. Very good game. I did beat it. Took me almost half a year, though, because I kept leaving it and sitting there for years. But it's a very fun game, very fun multiplayer. I play it a lot. Since we got those games done, we're going to start at least half of my uh, Xbox 360 games. So, I'll do a big chunk. We got, uh, okay. Mo motion game sport, motion sports. Play for real. Very, f very fun game for the Kinect. I think it's sort of a little laggy. Like when you're going of like playing, playing soccer or boxing or something, it doesn't pick you up very fast. But it's still a fun game to play. Played it a couple, played it a couple times. Then we got Dance Central. Quite a fun game, even though I can't dance at all. I really suck at it, and I get my butt whooped by my brothers. Very fun though. Very very fun. 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 This is this next game is not actually mine. It's my dad's. TNA Impact Total Nonstop Action Wrestling by Midway. He picked this game up, I think, for ten bucks at a, a pawn shop. Oh, at a pawn shop. It's very, very fun. I, I think I ripped the label off, so you can't see it. Ten bucks. Uh, I think the pawn shop and Red Deer. And then we got Make It Connect. Adventures requires a connect sensor. Very fun. I play it a lot with my brothers. And on this one, I'm gonna end the video soon, so my battery is dying. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare got this for Christmas this year. Very fun. And if this is going by too fast, I'll try and get back to you with these games. Okay. We've got Brutal Legend. Pick this game up for ten bucks. Uh, I think I like Bargain Shop or something. Very fun. Uh, I haven't beat the second level, but it's still kind of fun. You know, if you like games like that, you'd probably like it. Connectables, it's a little ruined because my little sister got to it. She colored all over it. Uh, this is not actually mine. It's a family game. I play it sometimes with my brother and my sister, but it's a little fun. This next game is not actually mine. Is NHL 08 EA Sports Edition? It's got it was four four five four ninety nine at GameStop. Sorry, uh, I've played it at least once. And this is Quake Four, one of the, my first games when I got my uh, Xbox 360. Ten bucks at ga uh, Games Music in Red Deer. Fun game. Okay, I'm just gonna do a couple. These ones. Enemy Territory Quake Wars, T14 by, by Ed, one of the best game companies. 
produced Doom, Quake, and and Castle of Wolfenstein. Really good games. Suge I suggest them all on any console. Halo Reach Frenzy. We got the Halo Reach. Oh, I can't. I don't know what to say about this game, but it's amazing. I play it a lot, especially the firefight mode in the campaign. I've never really made it online because we don't have Xbox Live yet. I know that sounds dumb, but we haven't got around to buying Xbox Live. Then we got Halo 3 ODST. We got this, I think the second week after it came out at GameStop. If, I don't know if you can see that, but it says 65, 64.99. So 65 bucks. And it came with both discs. Like you see. See, it came with both discs, the multiplayer and the original game. I think multiplayer disc is a little bit better. I have Fallout 3, but this, oh yeah, it's Reach, it was in there for some reason. I have Fallout 3, but I think I just got this one, so I've been playing a little bit more. Fallout New Vegas. I've only made it past three quests so far. Very fun. I want to get around to Skyrim. Uh, Elder Scrolls Skyrim. So, and then, I'll do these two left. Okay, here's Fallout 3. My, the first Fallout 3 I bought, I haven't played the first two yet. But I f hear they're really good. Very, very good game. It's a bestseller. You got you play, you kill mutants and raiders. It's so much fun. I play it a lot. I have like halfway through the game so far. And the final game that we're going to review today is Aliens vs. Predator. I love this game. I rented it at a video store we have here. My dad went in and rented it for me. Because I was too lazy to go myself. And you got you can play as three different species, the Predator, the Alien, and the Marine. It's so much fun. I hear it's on the uh, PS3 too. So that's all we have for today and we'll be back with another review soon just keep holding on until maybe tomorrow we'll have another review of these games right here and an iPod touch review coming up soon so just keep so so comment rate and subscribe see ya